When posed with the question, should I consider attending a historically black college or university once I complete my studies at the Community College of Philadelphia, I say answer in the affirmative. Yes, it should absolutely be a consideration. My name is Anthony Driggers, and I'm an administrator at the Community College of Philadelphia. I'm also a graduate of a historically black university, Howard University, which is located in Washington, D.C. When I start to think of some of the amazing and impressive individuals who have attended historically black colleges and universities, it becomes overwhelmingly impressive. I start to think of individuals like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois, Booker T. Washington, Thurgood Marshall, Toni Morrison, Alice Walker, John Hope Franklin, Chadwick Bozeman, Kamala Harris, and Mary Baraka. The list goes on and on and on of individuals who've made outstanding contributions in education, in business, in economics, in science, in medicine, in the fine arts, and so many other aspects of American life and life throughout our globe. And so these institutions are American treasures. They're rich with history. You could randomly select any one of them and read about the history of these institutions and you will leave with so much more knowledge and understanding in the significance these institutions have played in the history and the development of our country. They are located in rural areas, suburban communities, and urban communities. You can find them in the southwest of the country. You can find them in the southeastern region of the country. You can find them in the middle Atlantic and northeast region of our country. They are wonderful environments, very nurturing. If you're looking for a dynamic experience in the classroom where the professor will challenge you, they will mentor you, a lot of informal mentor, mentoring relationships. A lot of people you will see as role models. A lot of professors will inspire you, will push you, will develop you, will cultivate that intellectual talent and make sure that it develops into the jewel and giant that you need it to be to capture your career aspiration and interest. But they will challenge you. And you will enjoy it. You will find the classroom experience. You'll find scholars who will be from all over the globe. Particularly enjoyable. And especially exciting because every day you're in an environment where you're comfortable and where you feel like you are empowered. You'll have opportunities to engage in leadership positions of different clubs and organizations on campus. You will feel socially engaged your individuality will be embraced and celebrated and encouraged and will never be discouraged. You'll find an institution that has a family environment, a family feel to it. Your networking will be amazing. You'll have opportunities to engage in research opportunities and uh, work with professors who are noted in their field and have made a contribution to the body of knowledge in their academic discipline. You'll have an opportunity to study abroad. You'll have an opportunity to travel. You'll have internships. Some cases, in many cases, in fact, you'll find employment even before you receive your degree. You'll have companies and corporations on campus looking for HBCU graduates to join their organization, to join their firm. You also have an opportunity to attend graduate school. HBCU graduates have attended some amazing graduate programs and professional schools 
And when you start to look at the number of people who have earned doctorate degrees who've attended HBCUs, when you start to look at the number of people who've uh, earned law degrees and uh, medical degrees and master's degrees, it is really impressive. And so it's a wonderful option. It is an environment that regardless of your race and uh, ethnicity, your background, your gender, your age, all are welcome. It's a historically black college and university only because of some of the uh, significant historical events associated with our country, but it's a welcoming, opening environment for all. Keep in mind that Falcony members such as George Washington Carver and Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois and many, many others have taught at historically black colleges and universities. And I know many times we may even associate the iconic homecoming events at some of these historically black colleges and universities, and maybe that's how you may note them. But once you join those communities and meet other scholars from all around the world, from Europe, from Asia, from Africa, Central America, all over the United States of America, to Canada, you'll feel that you're part of a rich, nurturing community of scholars and educators and administrators, faculty members and staff who are in your corner cheering for you. They want you to make it. They'll provide a nurturing environment. They will push you. They will challenge you. The work will be rigorous. But at the end of that experience, you'll leave prepared, you'll leave confident, you'll leave ready to tackle those very important dreams and goals and aspiration and interests you had at the beginning of your academic pursuit. And so for those reasons, I say absolutely consider attending a historically black college and university. It may be my university, Howard University. I've attended three historically black colleges and universities. I actually attended Norfolk State University. I've attended Howard University where I graduated from and Lincoln University. I've worked at three different institutions. I've done research, I've been blessed to do research on HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities. And I've had the opportunity to interview over 10 HBCU presidents. And so I'm impressed with the institutions. I'm an advocate of the institutions. I've conducted historically black college and university tours for over 20 years. And I have encouraged many students to consider HBCUs along with other institutions because I know the value of them. I wish you wellness, happiness, and success as you continue to process what's going to be the best fit for you when you leave the Community College of Philadelphia. However, if you attend the HBCU, you'll be very pleased with that experience. Thank you, and God bless you.